بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فنز ان اور ہاؤس ہولڈز دیٹس وی ریممبر اللہ سبحانہ تعالی پھر چار دیارے پانچ دیارے افطار ڈیٹ یو نو ویل ریممبر ویل ریڈ ار نماز اینڈ ریڈ ویل ریڈ ار قران مجید اینڈ سو اینڈ ویل ریڈ ار استغفار اینڈ دیٹس ای اینڈ ایز سون ایز دا تھنگز گون وی گو بیک ٹو اور نارمل روٹین مسنگ اور صلاح نو اسٹینگ ان ودو اینڈ اینڈ ویریس تھنگز لائک دیٹ but sun reviving sunnah in your household is the easiest thing they are the most effective way of staying steadfast cuz allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in quran that find namal usri yusran in namal usri yusra with difficulty there is ease so they, we me and you know that their difficulty will come in our lives how much how we perceive it is as a difficulty or as a way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us that i love you and this is a test for you and i want you to pass through this test so that i can i can give you reward you for the test like you know me and you we know that when we pass a theory test the next thing we do is practical exam for driving lesson and when we pass a driving lesson we get a, we what's the reward we get a driving license and then what do we do with the driving license we get the best of cars we get insured hopefully and then you know we drive and then we're on the road and what's the ease with that we are comfortable we can go and everywhere we don't have to worry about waiting for the bus in a rainy day or a snowy day we can it is convenient for us it's just a simple example of how a small action because you know it, it was a difficult thing you know hold gain on buses and things like that now ease is that you have car but again with that ease there's difficulty why because you have to pay for insurance you have to pay for mot you have to pay for the maintenance of the car <laughs> and so on and so forth so everything in life there is with difficulty there will be ease it's just how we perceive it a individual who is giving exams for whatever uh, business uh, or uh, professionalism you are from the re- end result is you get a certificate a piece of paper saying that you are certified whether you are a pharmacist a doctor a consultant uh, a business analyst whatever a piece of paper saying that you are an individual a human being giving you another piece of paper saying now you are certified can you imagine allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already telling us that your certificate is waiting in jannah you just need to make sure that you pass the exam of dunya because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has told us that you know dunya is a prison for moment but how blessed are we that we live in a prison where the person who has told us is also with us rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is within with us in this prison that my ummah is don't feel left out duniya dari na hisab hai ke koi banda mushkil ho chawa you help them and that say you don't get stay with them yara ek tarike ne tarike ne tarike and that say you don't be with them but aka kareem is such kareem and rahim nabi that he is with us ke my ummah is in trouble he is you know he will be going through afflictions there will be pains all sorts happening but i am with my ummah so they don't feel left out so reviving sunnah in our lives is the best and the easiest way give salam to each other at home the barakat of salam is 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 so immense it's a very simple thing to say to each other but the barakat is so immense it's unbelievable bade bade bigre kam sutri siddhe ho jane husband wife all they have to do is give salam to each other you will see the barakat in within each other children give salam to the parents you will see the barakat in your life brother see brother as give salam you will see the barakat in your life but what do we say what's up safe how's it going lad your eye bro these these terminologies we mean good to each other but there's no barakat in it as long because the intention is good to say you know you know you're right you know our kid how's it going son you're right sunshine you know you know little th- stuff like that because this is what we used to say in uni as well or you know when, when our bade bade re they see the oh aur kya hali theek hai na you know we forget to say salam say aur dosta kya hali theek hai na kar bas we mean good but we, there's no barakat in it so we say salam alaikum even then you know we have our own dialect of saying salam so we need to be careful on that cause instead of giving barakat we asana you know chaya ke dua ki lamta pheja 
Because you know, just the change of the terminology of salam can mean the, change the whole thing. But again, we mean good. Some people can't pronounce it exactly, but that doesn't mean that they are intentionally saying something wrong. But giving salam increases love. Simple thing in our households. Another thing which Anachis noticed that, you know, first thing, you know, when we get up in the morning, we brush our teeth. That's a normal concept of making sure your mouth is clean. Yet our mouths stink, yet we get, you know, decay in our teeth, yet we have, you know, we buy the best of toothpaste and we buy the best. We don't even have to use our arms now. We don't electric toothbrush again. You know what I mean? You just have to put it in your mouth and go, grrr. It does a job for you. It does a fantastic job, because I have got one. But it's still not the same as using a miswak. You will notice that our elderly, you know, back home, oh, uh, there are certain specific trees they would use. Me and you can have the best toothpaste and their teeth will be still solid. Why? Because they used natural remedy. They used it as a sunnah. We use it so the next man doesn't feel my, you know, blissful breath in the morning. But they use the miswak of any tree branch to, as a sunnah. And their teeth were still solid. Our birthday, birthday, their teeth never had kida uh, in their teeth. You'll never see them with a silver plated or gold plated teeth. You know, even if you go in villages now, there'll be elderly who can still open a ganna jarana or mundu torita, they can bite you off. Me and you can't even chabana the ganderi, what you call it, even if it's uh, peeled off properly, because they are that solid. However, like you know, where you have a phone and a charger wire right next to our desktop, you know, we have bed, then you have a table, so you have a, hopefully you'll have a lamp and your, you know, about 10 chargers and one phone and a tablet and something like that. Keep a small cup and put miswak in it. Simple thing. You don't need to keep it in your pocket, you don't need to be walking around with a stick in your mouth. Just do that. When you wake up, use that miswak, put it back in. When you go to sleep, use that miswak, put it back in. Simple thing. All you're doing is fulfilling the sunnah as well. And the natural uh, benefits me and you are attaining, we don't know. Akka Karim Hadith Sharif that whoever revives one sunnah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him of 100 martyrs. So shahidana sawab milna wa ik sunnat ki ujagar karna. One sunnah reviving in your household, you get the reward for 100 martyrs. So like fathers or sons or brothers, you revive, start something in your household. Everybody that does it, you get the reward for them as well. So today, like Bandana Chiza mentioned to you, hopefully one of you will start it and I'll get the reward for 100 martyrs at least. Even if I don't do it. But the best thing is to do it and then tell people. Because that has more effect. So like Nachi's bedside, I've got, you know, a small glass pot with a couple of masbak in there. So you should use it, and that's it. You don't have to keep it with you all the time. A simple thing. Reviving sunnah in the households, you will see the barakat. Because ek kisra hoi sakna wa ek asa kara wa ech aka kareem ni sunta ki ujagar kara and mushkilan, taklifan, jinnat, aseb, asrat, jadu, asane kara ch awan. We don't do it. That's the only problem. We need to do that. We need to think of the rewards. We need to think of the benefits. Physical and spiritual benefits. Because, you no, know, we think it's just a piece of stick. If I have it in my pocket. Yeah, we just think it's a piece of stick. No, it's not. It's got spiritual powers as well. Things that we can't see, they are scared of these things. Yeah, banda maswa karna wa fresh they come close to their mouth. But we don't see them, that's why we don't do it. Use this and feel the benefits. Shayateen and all those spiritual illnesses that come to us as if you know, magnet attracts another magnet or an iron, run away. Why? Because you have a stick that looks all crumpled up, but it's very spiritually powerful. Because Allah said in the Quran, Wattini was Zaytun. So if you have a, a miswak made out of Zaytun, branch, you keep carrying something that's mentioned in Quran in your pocket or in your, on next to your bedside. You're using that is mentioned in Quran 
you're cleaning yourself with it. Why would it not have spiritual benefit? If the Quran, which, Quran is Shifa, then why wouldn't this small piece of stick be a Shifa as well for us? We need to revive little, little things in our lives because they'll make difference. 